Today I wanted to talk to you guys quickly about some of the things that I've been doing whilst in lockdown and one of them is actually getting involved 3D printing face shields for the NHS and other frontline workers. Now I've got involved in this as part of a group of 3D printer owners in the UK and what we're trying to do is print up as many of these face shield frames as we can to allow face masks to be made to be able to share with those frontline workers. So what I'm going to quickly do is just take you through what I've actually been doing. I'll also share with you guys the website as well and if you are a 3D printer owner in the UK it certainly isn't too late yet to get involved and just try and do your little bit if you can whilst we are all stuck at home. Okay, so just to show you what I've got going on, I've got my two printers pretty much running 24 seven on this at the moment, or at least 20 hours a day. They're getting a few hours rest overnight in the end. Now I've got my FlashForge Creator Pro in the corner and my Prusa Mark III S over here. Now currently they are both printing the face shield frames in PLA. I was originally doing these in PETG, however I've now run out of PETG and I've had to move on to PLA. Both are currently being accepted over here in the UK. So moving over to the Flash Forge, you can see it's simply printing the masks one at a time and it's also got the lower part of the shield as well which I'll talk about a bit more in a second. And then moving over to the Prusa, you can see again it's doing them singly with the face shield as well. Now originally with the Prusa I was printing these as I said in PET G and I also then had them printing in PIS with a special file that Prusa has actually made to speed the prints up. Now printing them singly like this this in PLA is taking about two and a bit hours. When I was using the very fast file in PETG, I was actually able to print two masks on the same bed and I'm not doing them stacked, they do do a stacked version, but two masks on the same bed and I was actually able to do the two masks in about the same time I'm able to do one at normal speed. But it is worth remembering if you are doing that, you are pushing your printer to the max. Now currently though, because I'm doing these in PLA, I found that the fast prints just weren't working well with PLA so I've moved back over to standard speeds but I actually have both printers working doing that rather than just the one. Now just to show you the masks themselves I've got them laid out over here. I've got 10 out in pet g and i'm just working my way through the plas over here now to show you the mask in a little bit more detail it is a frame a top frame and a bottom frame and it's designed then to have a piece of plastic that goes between it as a face shield and then that is designed to be used with the frontline workers just to give them some additional protection now the way it works is you've got the headband which is the back part of the frame here and then you've got the front part of the frame that takes the plastic shield and it's designed to take a shield with holes punched via a standard hole punch and then you get the little piece that goes on the bottom just to keep the frame rigid. Now these are all based on the Prusa Mark III design face shield. They're all identical to that design and they've got all of them available to download on the website and I'll actually take you over to that now in a second as well to have a look. But it is something to get involved with if you can. Now there was a big push on this last weekend to get as many face uh, frames done as possible for the weekend big print that's now finished but it's still up and running and you can still get involved locally and that's what's going to happen now is rather than these being dealt with centrally they're going to be more dealt with on a local level and again I'll put a link to that in and if you do have a 3D printer why not get involved and try and do something at the moment masks are being printed or sorry face frames are being printed in both PET G and PLA PET G satisfy the requirements better from a sterilizing point of view they can be multiple used whereas PLA ones are more a single use case and they'd have to go in the bin after. So for me the printers have pretty much been running non-stop. I haven't been setting too many large prints overnight simply because of the amount of failures I do tend to get when the temperature drops. However for me they've been running at least 16 to 20 hours a day. So what I'll do now is take you over to the website. I'll show you the masks on Prusa themselves as well as then show you the website where you can get involved. Okay, so just to show you the shields themselves. Now, these are all based off the Prusa design. It is the Prusa face shield. These have pretty much been widely accepted. There's a version for Europe as well as a version for the US as well. There are a couple of differences, and these are the ones that have been being printed. So what you have is the top shield section, as I showed you earlier, and then you've got the bottom bit, which keeps the plastic in place. You can print these in up to stacks of four or five, and people have been printing these in larger and larger stacks, depending on what printer they've got. And as you can see they're in use there now the guys i got involved with with this is the big print which was 3d crowd uk so last weekend 
there was a big print event. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to really get involved with that. However, I have been printing non-stop since Sunday to be able to get some face um, shields ready and try and get them out. And it's all being partly funded through 3D Crowd UK emergency 3D printed shields. And all of these are being done into the NHS in the UK and hopefully helping people on the front line who need it. So if you're not able to actually get involved with printing, get involved with donating if you can as well because people really do need the help that we are trying to give them and it's been fantastic to see how much of the 3d printing community has got involved with this it's been amazing everyone is simply just trying to get involved trying to do their bit now there are some strict conditions about what we're going to do with these these all of these shields you saw of my earlier are on a fairly clean environment however these will all be sterilized by me before they actually get bagged up and sent so even though you did see me handling it earlier i've actually got ipa i've got some strict um conditions that i'm going to actually sterilize these in to make sure that there is no chance of contamination with regards to any form of viruses so if you are wanting to get involved you do have to make sure that you are not being affected by the human malware situation your work area is clean you're taking precautions and handling these as minimum as possible or at least making sure that you are sterilizing them before they do go and i will be sterilizing every one of these myself before they get bagged and shipped anyway that's it if you want to get involved please do i just thought i would share this with you guys just to show you one of the things that myself and other people are getting involved with whilst we are in the middle of this horrible situation that's it thank you for watching and i will release another video again soon